Hi, everybody, and welcome to Lab 3 of CAD 2131. Today is going to be a departure from our standard drawing. Uh, the reason is that we've gotten to the point now where we have an idea of what our project's going to look like. And so now, now we need to go out and we need to start finding components that are going to fit our, our design. And I understand uh, that you're first year students and that this might be a little bit beyond your scope at this point, but I want you to uh, get familiar and make, make an attempt at uh, sourcing the components that are in our, our, uh, in our design so far. And so if you recall from, from the, from assignment two, uh, we had, so we had some parts, we had some motors, we had some load switches, we had some selector switches, we had uh, some information that we had about an e-stop and a push button and some lamps. And so I want you to go through and find uh, some components that would fit the bill, okay? And we're not going to worry too much about uh, the cost, so we're not, we're not looking for the cheapest thing possible, uh, but we are looking for something that's going to be easy. And by easy, I mean I want, I want to find parts that we can easily get CAD for. And the reason being is I'm going to, I'm going to take you through step-by-step step as we, as we design this box. Uh, and one of the things that we're going to do is bring in all these 3d parts and assemble it so that we can make sure that our box and our layout are the way we want it before the parts ever arrive. And so I've, I've, uh, selected automation direct here. There are, they're a great little company, uh, not so little. They're a great company down in the United States. And uh, the reason I really like using them is, first of all, they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, two, they have uh, great shipping. Uh, three, uh, they have CAD for pretty much everything. Okay, so this this is a big a big deal for me uh, in my in my day job uh, because I don't have to draw things. I can just import them and drop them in, and they they're really good at supporting their their uh, their product. Uh, they, they aren't the only game in town by any stretch of the imagination. There are some very good, uh, manufacturers like Rockwell automation that you will be using over in the PLC labs and, and, uh, and, and they're fantastic too. They're also very local. Uh, but, uh, it's a little bit cumbersome to get CAD from them. It's possible. Uh, don't get me wrong. Last year, uh, we did actually use a lot of, a lot of components from Rockwell Automation, and uh, it, and it was it was feasible. It's just it was it was it was troubling to try to uh, find some of some of it. And so, what I really want to do is I want to uh, set you up uh, so that you can uh, basically just go at this. I want you to literally go to this website and start uh, poking around for some components. Uh, for example. Uh, now, I don't recommend that you uh, do the search as much as uh, you should be using the menu down the side. For example, a motor. So if we're looking for a motor, uh, it comes up with a series of motors. And the parametric search in this is not great, but it's better than most. And so in this case, uh, you know, we're looking for an AC motor and... Uh, we, we know that we wanted uh, a small horsepower, let's say a one third horsepower, and we could uh, choose a voltage. Okay, so we can set uh, multiple voltages on this. So here we go. Uh, good, 115, 150. So any of these will be fine. Uh, a C face, a NEMA is always nice, uh, but it's not the end of the world. Um, sure, why don't I pick that one? Uh, just, just for giggles now. Okay, and so two hundred and sixty dollars U.S. It's available, and if I if I check it out, this one we don't need CAD for, but you know I'm going to go on on a little bit further here and uh, take a look. And let's see specifications, technical specifications. You know we can go in and take a look at all of the all of the specifications that would be required for us in industry. Um, and we're not going to worry about it too awfully much today, but uh, you can see that this is obviously going to be, require a dry location. And, you know, it's not our best for, 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 for our application, but it is, 
it is actually for a jet model. Uh, so we could use this uh, quite handily. As a matter of fact, why don't we, why don't we just put a little asterisk beside that right now? And we'll, 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 we'll run with this as our, as our example. Okay. Um, now if there is CAD available, you'll, you'll see it down here. It'll be under, uh, drawings and documents. And, uh, so you can see everything's just in 2d for this motor. If it is available in 3d, you'll see it there. And like I said, we don't really need the 3d for the motor. And so I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a pin in this one for now. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll circle back to that. Okay. So, uh, what am I looking for in this, in this lab? Uh, basically we're going to create a spreadsheet, uh, using Excel preferably. And we would like uh, to set it up similar to this. So we have uh, an item number, okay? And this item number is going to become important later when we create our drawings, because we're actually going to refer to this. A description, okay? So power supply, nice and simple, right? Uh, part number, okay? And I've given you the first one here. Uh, we require one of power supply. The cost is $30 US, and so 30 times one is uh, $30. And I always leave room for a note and notes are great. Uh, you'll see that some things come in packages of 10, but we only need five. So it's, it's handy to note that or that uh, you're, you plan on cutting this part out of another one uh, in the example of DIN rail, which you're going to learn about later. And uh, basically uh, I do, I do walk you through on how to create the hyperlink. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Uh, but uh, that's it. Uh, you've got a couple of weeks to, uh, go through the, your schematics so far and pick out as many of those parts as you feel you want. And uh, know that there isn't really a right and a wrong part as long as it fits the criteria. Do look at voltages. That's the one thing that I will ask you to look at. So don't put a 24 volt switch or lamp, for example, on 120 volts. That would be bad. Uh, but other than that, if you decide that you want to use uh, 32 millimeter switches instead of 22 millimeters. If you want metal instead of plastic, I don't care. It's completely up to you. This is basically your design and I'm just going to guide you uh, through the process. So uh, what am I looking for? A spreadsheet format. Uh, I want uh, item field. I want the part number field. I want the quantity, uh, the cost, and, uh, and I want the, uh, the, the actual parts. Okay. So uh, you can see I've got five marks dedicated for, did you find the parts and did you uh, put in the links and the costs? Okay. So, so this is the, where, where the bulk of your work is going to come in. And to be honest with you, it's going to be a living document. There's going to be mistakes in here, uh, things that you decide later that you don't like, and that's okay. That's, that's part of the deal. Okay. So uh, there we go. So let's take a look at a spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, here we are. I've got my spreadsheet. I've given it a logical title and I've saved it to some place where I'll be able to find it. And uh, the first thing is I'm going to put in a number and the description description in this case is going to be the, uh, uh, let's say, let's call it the uh, pump motor. Okay. And in this case, I'll put in the, uh, so here's the information on my, on my, uh, on my motor. So I'm going to, uh, basically I'm going to control C. So I'm going to copy this and under the part number here, I'm going to uh, paste this as plain text only, uh, cause I don't want the formatting. I'm going to require one of these. Oops. Uh, I'm going to be looking at a cost on this guy of $259. And it's going to be this times this, right? And I'll say uh, to match pump. We'll call that, we'll call that good enough. Okay. Uh, so how do we hot link this? Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start by right clicking on the, on the URL up here. And I'll copy that. So control C and I'll come back here to my, to my uh, part number and link. And I will right click and say link. 
I can then uh, paste the address, so control V in here, and you'll notice that it's now hyperlinked to this website. Why would I wanna do this? Uh, basically, it'll allow me to very quickly uh, pop out to, to the da data sheet or, or the spec sheet in this case, and uh, pull in the information as required. Right. And so you'll continue to do that uh, for as many components as, as you can, can fit in. Uh, later, I'll give you my copy of it. It's not uh, meant that you then copy it in, uh, but it's to show you what I have versus what you have. And we're going to talk about things that uh, get missed, especially for, for new people uh, that have never designed a panel before, which is expected that there's going to be lots of oversights. All right, there you go. Uh, lots of work to do. Uh, don't feel frustrated. Uh, if you if you do hit a stumbling block, uh, feel free to send me a question. Uh, I'm I'm always here to to answer. And if a, a supplementary video would help you out, uh, please uh, feel free to ask. I'm here to to uh, help you out however I can. All right. Thanks, and have yourself a great day. Bye now.